Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massive chess game from the history of chess from 1957. And in this chess game we have Viktor Korchnoi with the white pieces and his opponent is Dmitry Rovner. Let's see what happened in this chess game. This is also a massive notable chess game by Viktor Korchnoi, one of the greatest chess players ever who never won the world chess championship title, Viktor the Terrible. Korchnoi. So he starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5, knight to f3 and we have the Italian game Rui Lopez, a6, bishop back, knight to f6, Korchnoi castled and simply developing the pieces, attacking the bishop, bishop goes back, Korchnoi is planning d4, castling and then d4 finally, bishop to f6, a4, rook over, capturing the pawn, developing the bishop, Queen up and then bishop to d7, finally developing the bishop, knight from b to d2, exchanging the pawns and then knight to a4, knight back, so Korchnoi is going to use his knight in the king side, that is the plan, rook over and then knight to g3 as planned, g6, not allowing knight to h5, but with this move black is weakening the dark squares. Bishop to d5, pinning the knight. And in this position, maybe queen takes on b5 is a possibility. If capturing the pawn, that's losing for black. So rook to b8, defending. And then rook over, knight to b4. Bishop back, defending the bishop. Knight back, attacking the knight, defending. Knight goes back. And then Viktor Korchnoi pushed the pawn, finally attacking his opponent. Korshnoi is also famous because of his brilliant counter-attacks. He was like the arch nemesis of Mikhail Tal. He defended perfectly against Tal and when the correct time came, he unleashed a brutal attack against Mikhail Tal. This is why he lost only a few times against Tal and defeated him many, many times. He had plus score against Mikhail Tal, so Bishop goes back, defending the bishop, but if capturing the pawn, we have this interesting continuation, capturing, defending the bishop, and then bishop takes knight is a possibility, attacking the defender of the bishop, and then capturing, queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, and then rook takes on d7, but then black has this saving move, knight to c5, defending, capturing, and then rook takes on b5, and white is still better in this position, so white is better. And in this position, queen takes on d7. Sorry, in this position, instead of queen takes bishop, computer engine says bishop takes on f7 is actually the better move. Rook takes on f7, and then here comes e6, and white is winning. White is much better in this position. So this is why we have pushing the pawn and not capturing the pawn. Capturing is also losing for black, but not decisively. It would be interesting. So bishop to h6, defending the rook. And then here comes queen to f4. And Viktor Korchnoi is threatening checkmate in two moves. So pushing the pawn, blocking the bishop. And then what would you do in this position? How to make any progress? How to attack the king? So what would you do? Let me give you a couple of seconds. Actually, Korchnoi played the best move in this position. Maybe knight to g5 comes to mind, but Viktor Korchnoi played another move. He played knight to h5. And then in this position, actually, this is a, a very good move. Uh, getting one step closer to the king. Uh, this is looking very dangerous for black. So we have knight to b4, not capturing the knight. Of course, if capturing the knight, then queen check. And then capturing the bishop, pushing the pawn, and then queen to f4. And white is much better in this position. So you can see that capturing the knight is not going to be good for black. So getting one step closer to the king, knight to b4. 
and then what would you do once again at move 26 Korshnoi played knight to h5 that was the first step in this puzzle now try to guess the next move try to guess the second key move in this chess puzzle let's say so that's move 27 and Viktor Korshnoi played another very beautiful move uh, let me give you a couple of seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video and try to guess the move. Well, Viktor Korchnoi in this position, he pushed the e pawn. This was the move. What a move. Very beautiful move. And black captured the pawn with the bishop. But in this position, let's check out if uh, capturing the pawn with the pawn, then I don't see any defense. So this is why pushing the pawn and then bishop takes on e6 and then here comes another smashing move by Viktor Korchnoi. Why did he sacrifice the pawn? Can you see the next move of Viktor Korchnoi? Then here comes rook takes on e6. This was the idea. Capturing the rook. So this is not working because of this move. But this time we have rook takes on e6. F takes on e6 and then queen to e5 by Viktor Korchnoi. Threatening checkmate and how to defend. Black pressed the panic button, bishop goes back. But then simply capturing the bishop and then black resigned. What a crushing, smashing, slashing, dashing chess game by Viktor Korchnoi. What an amazing game, a crushing game. If rook takes or king takes, then queen to g7 is checkmate and there is no sensible defense. So after bishop takes on f8, black resigned. Maybe rook to e7 is a possibility for not getting checkmated, then simply capturing the rook and then checking the king and white is easily winning. This is losing for black. And thank you very much for watching. This was the must see. Beautiful chess game of Viktor Korchnoi. He has many interactive, beautiful chess games. So I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.